Hi, I'm Jeff, and I have a tip for you. Have you ever wanted to bring in a map file that isn't provided out of the box via Dundas BI? I'm going to show you how to find one, convert it to appropriate format, and simplify it, then finally bring it into Dundas BI and attach data to it in this tip. So, hope you enjoy this. For starters, do a Google search for what you want to find. In my case, I'm looking for a United Kingdom postal code map. You want to use the word shapefile, download, free, that type of thing. These are typically provided by government agencies. There's lots of free sites with maps, universities. So you are able to find shapefiles for just about any base map that you want to show. Just a matter of getting it. Here's one that I found, and they don't necessarily have to come in the Esri shapefile format. So you'll notice here, this is a KML file, which I'm going to download. Other thing you want to watch out for is that sometimes these files can be absolutely massive. This one's reasonable at 700K, but shapefiles of 5 and 10 gigs are absolutely out there, and they provide way too much detail in terms of all the boundaries that are being drawn, and rivers and you know, landmarks. You just don't need that on a data visualization map. And if you try to load something so large into a BI product and tell it to draw that map, the browser is just going to choke trying to draw all that detail. It's just not meant for that in one go. So that's why I'm going to use a tool called Map Shaper. This is a free online you know, site, absolutely wonderful. So I'm just going to drag that KML file in and import it so you can see the structure of the map that we're going to bring in. Perfect. So first thing I want to do is simplify it. As I said, these can be really big. Pick a method to simplify. And this one simply has a nice little dragger that you can set. So obviously you don't want to go too far. It'll start looking really bad. But there is a sort of a sweet spot. You can see here, even like 10%, that's probably good enough. So this will significantly shrink the file size and make it load faster on your dashboard. Once you're happy with it, export and bring it into a shapefile format. So you'll see it'll download a zip file with a couple of files. From here, go to Dundas BI. And what you need to bring in is the DBF file, which contains the names of each landmark that you want to attach data to, the shape file, and the SHX file. Drag those in. And you'll see that it'll automatically add a map to the screen. And under the Maps folder, you'll actually see the file, uh, which is available as a resource for future use if you need it. Now let's get some data. Uh, I've actually already gone and loaded up some information for the United Kingdom's postal code data. So it's just a number and the postal code name. And the only other thing you want to do on the map is go to Properties and select Show Only Requested Maps. This will only load the map from the shapefile. If you don't select or deselect this, then what it's going to do is probably load the world and then have your shapefile as a tiny piece. And all I care about is showing the postal codes. Let's go back to our data. Whoops. And in this case, let's just bring in the area code and a value. And you can see that it's bound data. So that's all it takes. So hopefully this video has helped you just to find that file get into the right format, simplify it down, and of course, load it and attach data to it. Hope this helps.